Hey everybody, it's your girl Debbie and this is Artist Hustle TV. Today I am giving you three powerful things that a successful artist are doing to stay on top of their game. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Let's get into it. The first thing is they have a brand, okay? And a brand is establishing your image. It makes you stand out from everyone else, whether it's your sound, it's your look, it's what you're saying in your, your videos or in your music, you're controversial or you're political or you're just funny, whatever it is, that's your brand. And most of these people that are very successful, they have um, great numbers. And I'm not just talking about on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram because those type of things, um, people think that, okay, if they have a lot of, likes and followers that will be great they're going to be successful not necessarily sometimes what what people are really look at is different platforms like youtube or even reverb nation or other platforms where you cannot buy views you cannot buy followers or subscribers i think people still do do that on youtube i'm not sure but i know there's a lot of sketchy websites that will do it but for the most part youtube is very authentic and if you have over a million views, most likely you're getting up there with the successful, whether you have talent or you don't. Because I've seen videos and I'm like, why did that person get a million views? But people like it. Maybe it's their dance. Maybe it's just a catchy song. But you got to think, okay, you got to think what's your ranking on like Rebird Nation. It's a great place. And I've talked about this before because it actually gives you all of your stats in one place your YouTube your Facebook everything is all in one place and it markets you depending on whatever genre you're in and by your location too so it's a great way it's a great tool it's a great platform for all types of artists so I definitely recommend you get on there but the biggest thing is having a brand think about some of the artists that you love to listen to they have a brand they have things they stand for they have a look they have their videos a certain way. There are certain songs they talk about. Maybe they switch up their brand, but at the same time, it's mostly consistent. And one thing I love, one of my biggest brands that I love is Apple. I love the Apple brand because he, even if you don't like Steve Jobs, it doesn't matter. He did a great job storytelling. He did a great job to make you want things you didn't even know that you wanted. And it's something that I think it's a big skill it's something that you need to learn how to do. And if you don't know how to do it, hire someone who can teach you or help you strategize on how to build your brand and get your word and your music and your message out there. The second thing successful artists do is they have a rapid fan base. They have a growing, growing, growing fan base. And it's growing every day, pretty much. And it it's just, it's growing. I mean, and if you have more fans, you win. You're more successful. Most likely you make way more money. If this is something you really want to do as a career, the more fans you have, the better. And fans are not Facebook likes, Twitter likes, Instagram likes, and Snapchat followers. It's really about the data on your fans. That means their name, their email, where they live, all that good stuff. And if you can collect that data, you know, um, that's the most important thing more than anything else. You know, thinking that you have a lot of social media likes, that's going to do it. Yeah, it's great. But you got to convert those people to your website or to what you personally own in your brand. That's the most important thing that you want to do. You got to think, OK, how am I going to focus on building up my list? How am I going to get these people? So say you do have a great social media following. You got to convert those people to your website or at least convert them to um, a funnel to get them, you know, updates on what you're doing, updates on different shows or different products or just, you know, just keeping them in the loop. If you do have a new music video that you're putting out, they get the first hit, you know, um, it could be a VIP thing. I don't know how you want to do it, but you need to focus on growing your fan base. They have solid fans. And even if you think their music is whack, they have a fan base. And it may sound crazy, but that's what's key to their success. So think about how am I going to get a fan base and not only just a fan base and likes and views, but how am I going to convert these people to my website and get their information? And one thing you can do, obviously, is give them something, you know, give them something. Or when you perform live, get their email, ask them, can I text you, get their phone numbers, whatever you have to do 
to learn and grow about learn about your fans and your audience the better off you're going to be and the last thing number three is career development and having a strategy it is so important you cannot grow in your music career or anything in business or anything if you don't have strategy planning some type of person that's in charge of that because you as an artist most likely you may come up with ideas, you may, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you definitely want to have someone that knows what they're talking about, that has been doing it, whether it's you want to focus more on branding, you want to focus more on your marketing, or just overall your whole career. How can I capitalize on these opportunities once I do have this fan base? What do I do next? You really want to think about, okay, do I want to hire someone and, and you know, or bring them on my team and figure that out? Because you got to realize no successful artist has ever done it on their own. They always have a team. Teamwork. What they say, teamwork makes the dream work. It's, it's, it's a little corny, but it's true. So you really got to think, okay, this person, my career strategist, and it's not your manager. Because most of the time these people are working, and these can be consultants or coaches or just a company that helps brands or you know musicians or whatever grow once they do have a fan base and they are making money that's the most important thing you got to make money you can't just you can't just expect these people and that goes for any service you have to be making money or at least have a budget to do this but if you don't have a if you don't have any money then it's a business so yeah that's that that's that but um <laughs> the best thing about hiring a consultant or coaching or whatever it is, is most of the time their fees are priced, um, very fixed. You know, you pay a monthly, maybe an annual um, fee for their services that they do. Either they help you with their marketing or the branding or they help you find opportunities. Whatever it is, you really need to find someone on your team or hire out an outside team to help you grow your brand, grow your marketing, grow your career in general. And a lot of successful artists have these people, whether they're on labels, they're independent, or they just have an individual person that's really helping them capitalize on this whole thing that they're doing right now. So think about that when you're thinking about, okay, how am I going to take myself to the next level? How did these people do it? The biggest thing is having a brand, having the fan base, and having a team slash consultant, team, um, company, whatever it is, to strategize, plan, and capitalize on all the opportunities you're getting. So I really hope this video helped you out. I really think it's going to be a great value to you to help you think about what to do next and how to take your career to the next level. I will see you on the next video. All right, bye.